This is the story of 19 people from eight countries and companies, all with different backgrounds and no former experience of working together. Joined by the ICATA ABI course, an executive education program aimed at strengthening the European aerospace industry, they were challenged to deliver a project in 15 weeks. The objective is to develop their project management, teamwork, and leadership skills in a multicultural and safe environment, similar to what is found in real life. This year, the team decided to conduct their project using new ways of working, with no declared leader defining the approach and managing team members through an established action plan. Instead, they resorted to a self-organized team, experiencing the fail-fast, fail-cheap concepts, and learning to develop agility and creativity. Getting started, learning how to operate as a self-organized team. Meetings started initially with the entire team, but with 19 of us all talking, these were inefficient and frustrating. To progress, we agreed upon a vision. We defined team values and our own set of rules. It then became easy to empower smaller teams to move forward and develop things in detail. Team allocation was dynamic to closely suit project needs in its various phases. Close coordination between the various teams was essential to ensure consistency, and so we created a facilitator team to secure integration. We had daily tag-up meetings with everyone together and used cooperative tools such as Slack and Kanban boards to communicate and measure progress. Decisions were sociocratic, based on a no-strong-objection philosophy, and volunteers were allocated tasks. Finally, regular brainstorming workshops were key to defining the next steps and reinsure alignment of the group's efforts. This is a human adventure first. We were convinced that work colleagues with good relationships perform better. With that in mind, formal and informal social events were organized along the way. These, coupled with WhatsApp group conversations, created a strong team spirit. We were a team and nobody was left behind. We had weekly surveys to check the satisfaction regarding our core values. Listening, feedback, being there for each other, honoring commitments and straight talk. To evaluate the team status and take actions to fix if there was a problem. We also did pies, not the delicious pastry, but each of us in a circle expressed how we felt. Physically, intellectually and emotionally. Sharing together brought us closer and helped us fix issues before they escalated. Conclusions, benefits of this way of working. Never being sure if new approaches or ideas were going to work. But we were convinced if we failed, it would be a fail cheap result. We'd learn and we'd get up again, stronger than ever before. We are able, we are genuine, we are innovative, we are loyal, we are efficient. Summarized, we are agile. We achieved a lot by developing a cooperative mindset and a team spirit epitomized by our team motto. Where there is a will, there is a way. to face new challenges back in our respective organizations.